Are you looking for an easy comp that you can hard force for free elo? Well, Hecarim Callista might be the comp for you. The plan is simple. Just play all the multi striker units plus Shen, and then try to fit in as many Arcana units as you can afterwards. This isn't a Hecarim reroll comp most of the time. Your goal is to use the early strength of these units to build an early win streak you can use to help push levels. Oh. To do this, you want to make items as fast as possible, even if they aren't the best in slot. The only item here that really matters is having at least one Rage Blade for Callista, as this item can make too much of a difference if you don't have it. Otherwise, make whatever items you can that can be used, random bruiser items for Hecarim or random damage items for Callista. In the early game, you can use Ash and one of the melees as item holders until you hit your respective carries, and make sure to hold an extra copy of them for later. You'll eventually replace Ash with the first Callista that you find, and replace the other multi-striker with Hecarim once you have them to start. For augments, you're looking for combat augments, like Rusty Attacker Keepers, but early Econ augments like Spoils of War or Lunch Money are also very good as you are trying to build up as much Econ as possible to roll for Callista on level 8, who is very contested otherwise. As you can see here, I go for Stationary Support, which is a very good augment in this comp because a lot of the support items can be used by multi-strikers. It doesn't give me board strength immediately, but at this point in time I was confident in my board, so I figured I was going to be strong either way. In general, you are looking to play the strongest board you can in the early game, just out of whatever you can find. If you can make an item that would be good on either Hecarim or Callista, make it and put it on someone, even if they can't use the item that well. Skin 2s can be fine on pretty much any backline unit, or even frontline carry units that do damage. You can slam any kind of bruiser item on any kind of tank. Sterax is a decent tank item on frontliners. You're trying to keep your board as strong as possible, and then on 3-2 you should be leveling to 6 and should reroll to find this board in particular, while trying to upgrade as many units as possible. You can end up going down to 20 gold if needed, but going past that will might make you too poor. This should keep you strong enough to try to go to level 8 and roll on 4-2, or 4-5 if you do end up getting poor. When you do hit level 8, the board you're looking for should look something like this. If you manage to find an early Camille, you should always play 7 Multi Striker, as this makes your board really strong and really like deceptively tanky. If not, the 5 Multi Striker board is good enough for now. Once you stabilize around Calista 2, you should just continue to push levels and try to end up on something like this. In the late game, you want to find items for Camille as well, and if you have to, you can dump AP items onto Zera. And because this comp isn't even that hard to hit, this happens quite frequently. If you look here at the stats, just hitting like these traits has a very good placement. I'll throw in Pyro. And uh, continuing to level. Further lowers, lowers the average placement a lot. Whereas even if you hit Hecarim but you stay on 5 Arcana. It's not even as good as if you were to push levels. Like having 7 multi striker is really big. I'll once again compare Hecarim 2, but you have 7 multi striker. The average placement is uh, a bit lower. And the stats are just a bit better. And overall, like just this requirement is pretty good. If you have an emblem, makes it even easier to hit. All in all, this comp ends up playing a lot like Vertical Duelist from last set with Lee Sin and Irelia. Where if you hit everything early, you'll just end up really strong for most of the game and can often end games with a lot of leftover health remaining. Now before I continue with the rest of this particular VOD, I would like to say that if you enjoy my content, feel free to leave a comment down below and subscribe. It does mean a lot. Anyway, here's the rest of this game where I end up getting pretty unlucky but managed to get carried by just generally good play and the pure strength of this comp. I have one item Hecarim, one item Callista, two item Shen. That does not seem correct. What's that other guy doing?
Nice. I'm not gonna. I have PTA. Like I can just go nine and play seven. We'll be checker. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, this guy's playing the stew. Like. I mean, the damage is a lot, like the, the damage difference, I had Grim 3, but honestly, I'm down. I should be rolling for Charm here, like I am. No, I gotta lose this for that. Although, if I had actual items, I could have won that. I should have rolled for charm there. Especially on one streak, and especially with the much money. Like it's probably that for the best, but like these, like this has to be the worst combination of components I could have gotten. Like it was so good, and it was so bad. Where's that thing? Uh, I contested. TK thing contested. I'm not hearing that. I only need time. Honestly, what? Like, PTA is enough damage anyway. Like, you know what? Like, I have PTA, like... Not even that bad. What's the quick swap for this comp? Because I don't want to stay this side forever. But what is it? Is it Cassim and I realized I could have hit the Ash and that would have been bad. But I hit the best possible thing.
Can I go tent? <sighs> Honestly, I'm fucking hiding my color stuff. Honestly, the, is that, that's not my word. Why is it? No, this isn't even a re-roll, this is just vertical multi-striker. I mean, I hit PTA, so that's probably why I'm winning. But I also hit, like, with items. Funny. I mean, I'm losing the. Man, come on. Okay. I'm gonna need damage reduction, but it's fine. My bar targets frontline pump. Oh, no, I should do good on Costa. 